Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another CS video. Today we're going to be using the Glowforge to turn this into this. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a regular photo into pencil line art. First, we duplicate the first picture. <laughs> we duplicate it and we just make a copy. Then after, you try to do the hue and saturation. You want to get the saturation all the way to negative 100 so it can look black and white. Then after, you get your background copy and you do color dodge. Right after color dodge, you want to invert it to make it kind of into a negative color. And you do command I to invert the copy. Then you're going to want to go to filter. Blur and Gaussian Gaussian blur. Move your photo not too dark because it'll burn a hole if you glow forge it. But perfect enough to where it doesn't. Right about there. And click OK. And you should be good. Now we're going to put the piece of cardboard inside the glow form. Place it low to the bottom, close to you, so you can see it under the camera. And we're going to need some tape to tape it down. Just the corners, you know. Keep it held in place. Head to our computer and start up the Glow Forge. Okay, so today I'm going to explain how to take a picture from Photoshop and make it to an engraving using the Glow Forge. So basically, you get your PNG file, which is your picture, and your SVG file, which would be your frame for your picture, and upload both of those onto Glow Forge. So once you have that you can get your picture and you can resize it how you want, just so however you want it to look once it's cut out. And then after that, you take your frame, you do the same thing with that, you just resize it to where it fits your image. After that, you will go to your picture and then hit engrave and then manual and the precision power you change to 99 and your lines per inch to 340. Make sure before you start doing this, your background measured it and set it so it has the width and everything. Uh, uh, today we're using cardboard, so just make sure you measure that before you start doing all of this. Uh, once you finish uh, editing the how you're going to cut the picture, then you go to your frame, so you can go to cut, manual, full power, and then just go to like two passes just to make sure it'll actually cut it out all the way.
0.15 since our cardboard is 0.15. But if you have an object that's larger than 0.5 inches,